Hey guys, what's going on? Kyle with the car guys. Um, it's been a minute since I've been on one of these videos and uh, excuse my awkwardness, but um, but welcome back to the channel. If um, you enjoy this stuff, please consider leaving a like, commenting what you think on it, and uh, maybe maybe hitting that subscribe button. Any of that really helps uh, helps us out, helps us grow a little bit. So um, any and all things help. Um, so I've been getting a lot of requests in regards to my Duranthia deck that I've been playing for the skirmish season. I played her all last skirmish season, and I had fair, uh, decent success with it, and then um, ended up going into this skirmish season, not really know if I wanted to play Duranthia, and went ahead and, uh, and and did it. And it's she's been she's been um, doing me pretty well. Um, and so I wanted to give you guys the list here, as you see it on screen. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to Josh Lyle first and foremost. Um, he had quite a few different cards that I played. Well, a couple different cards that I played from uh, from the Monarch skirmish season to now. And um, it's, he he pretty much perfected this deck, I think. Um, so I want to go over this with you. I want to go over all my matchups. I've played in three different skirmishes with this deck. Um, and I've got second place uh, and top four and then top four again. So um, all three... One of the top four is the guy that win, but the other two, the pe per people that I lost to, won the whole tournament. So, um, yeah. So I want to go through, I guess, all my matchups, kind of let you guys know how how everything uh, unfolded, and I guess my thoughts on the deck, and if I can remember any of the matches, which I think I do remember quite a few. We'll um, we'll get into that. So um, let me look at the first one. Uh, we went to a skirmish in Alabama. And ended up playing in that. Josh actually ended up winning that tournament with this same exact deck. So if it's not only me, like you, I think out of the top eight, three or four of this exact deck was in the top eight of this particular um, this particular skirmish. I think it was like three, three or four. I think Christian played it too. Um, so it was it was a five round skirmish uh, with a cut to top eight. Uh, round one was Briar um, beat it. Round two was Kano. I think this deck has. Hardly any trouble with Kano. Um, I don't think I've lost to a Kano in in Blitz. Actually, I don't. Maybe the Kano players just aren't great. I don't know, but it it just seems super super in my favor. Um, and then round three, round three, I played against a Chain player. Round four was against an Ira. Um, I ended up I ended up playing very well in that match and ended up winning. Um, then I played Josh last round. Shout out to you again, Josh, uh, world's greatest Blitz Dorinthia player. Um, you ended up winning. He ended up winning. Uh, it was a very very good turn he had back to back and can't do nothing sometimes against that. Then the top eight I played against the Viscerai. Um, kind of scared actually going into. It. I think I got second after Swiss. Um, kind of. Kind of scared playing it because I really hadn't ever really played it, but like once or twice, and um, ended up I ended up squeaking that one out, and then I ended up playing the Ira player that I played in top four, and he got a salty run back on me. We won't get into that though. Um, and then the next skirmish, um, shout out to Play Live Nation, which is one of our uh, frequent locals that we have here in uh, here in Atlanta. Um, round one was against my buddy Neil, teammate. Um, he ended up he ended up getting me there. A um, couple really bad draws, and he he drew he drew very well in that match, and I went down to like the ver the very end. So congrats on um, a really good match, Neil. Um, then round two was against an Oldham. I ended up winning. Um, shout out to Chase. Uh, round three was an Oldham. Shout out to Eric. Um, ended up winning. Uh, round four was an Ira. Uh, ended up ended up getting that, and then. Round five ended up playing against Sebastian, and he double art award into some nonsense, and uh, couldn't couldn't find attack not attack action and I went in that game because of it. Oh well. Uh, top eight, top eight was uh, Kano ended up winning that pretty easily. Uh, then the mirror match against Christian, Sebastian's brother. Um, Pretty good match as a mirror, perfect mirror. Again, we played the same exact deck. Where it, I think this deck is proven to be the best Dorinthia deck, and nobody can change my mind, no matter how many like skirmishes you've won. <laughs> um, in the finals, I actually ended up playing Sebastian again. He saw double or double Art of War again, and um, 
he saw the non-attack action and went off. So it, it, it'd be like that. So that was my second place. And then the last one, Shout out Showcase Games, one of the best locals ever. Fucking love you guys. Um, so it's a five-round tournament. Round one, I got a buy. Funny story, round two, I actually got a buy as well. And I went up to him. I was like, why do I have two buys in a row? This is really weird. And we're all freaking out. Like, how is this even possible? And they were just going to play the round. I was like, no, repair it. I want to play. So we repaired. I ended up playing Chase again from the previous skirmish in round two. Um, ended up playing him. He's on Dory this time because that's his baby. And I ended up pulling that out in the mirror. And then the guy playing top eight of the skirmish before, Kano, very good match this time. Ended up pulling that out. Round four was against Alex Sneed. Um, co-founder of the card guys, uh, he ended up, he ended up pulling that one out. Uh, it was a very, very tight game. It's always a good match with Alex. Um, and then I played another Alex, Alex Han, really good magic player. Um, ended up squeaking it, squeaking it out against Tim in the, uh, in the last round. I got second after Swiss. Um, and then in top eight, actually, um, he got Alex on got seven. So I had to play him again in top, uh, top eight and ended up pulling that one out. Uh, that was actually a very good game. I feel like I played that. Per, I played that game perfectly. Um, and then in, in top four, I played against Andrew, who's playing Oldham. And this is when I realized that Oldham might just be one of the most craziest things in, in Blitz. So, And then and then he ended up winning the whole tournament. He ended up beating, beating uh, Alex in the, uh, in the finals. And I really can't do anything to it. So let's get into this list um, again. Shout out to Josh Lau. I fucking love you, dude. That's This, this list has been been pristine um i think my losses have come to um a failure to a failure to manage the pitch stack late game i think is or like setting up more optimal turns i guess you could say um so we'll, we'll get into the list here uh so we have 15 blues i think the 15 blues is actually like a very good number here and then you have um i want to say it's a four yeah, four, um, four yellows, and then the rest are reds. Um, we're, let's, I have it categorized here because I think this is the most important way to look at Dorinthia is um, how you're balancing the attack reactions and then also on top of that the non-attack reactions, whether the non-attacks be um, a buff or, or something that's going to get you some sort of value. So um, we're going to go to the attack actions first. I think the first one's kind of self-explanatory. You need to play one Nourishing Emptiness. Um, if you're able to like go mid-game without playing Nourishing and get a lot of their armor out of the way and then Nourishing them, right? And then set up the five-card hand for the uh, for like the Courage of Blade hold into Determination Supremacy play, you're pretty much guaranteed to win that game. Um, so... If, if you're able to see nourishing and like hold a supremacy and then have that play for like mid game, you're going to win the game. Um, and then defense reactions, actually, we ended up putting two sync blow in the deck. I think this helps a lot in the mirror. Um, it actually helped a lot. I remember at Play Live, the second skirmish, when I put the two Oldens back to back, um, sync below actually saved me from getting shafted by by a frostbite because this this deck really cares about all of its resources um so being able to um being able to stop a winner as well that's actually threatening a frostbite is really important other than that uh the mirror match because a lot of times if they go like warrior's valor attack and you take it um a lot of times they'll be like well okay well i'm gonna pay one steel blade or you activate the brave forge bracers and then they come in for dawn blade for four and usually after that, they can't activate anything else. So you're like, all right, sink below. You don't get the counter. And then we go from there, right? Um, and then you play one Steel Blade. I think that's obviously like the mandatory one of. Um, I stole at Locals. I actually stole a game against Nom like that. When we both at one. It was pretty funny. Um, so, the, so the non-attacks, we'll go ahead and say Energy Potion first and foremost. Um, I wasn't playing this card previously. This card's absurd, especially against like the the fatigue matchups. Um, uh Against one of the Oldhams, I ended up like stacking two energy pots on the field, and then on the board, and then and then had to block a certain way with a card in hand, and I still had enough like uh, energy to do things with, and like actually come come out on top of that matchup. So, uh, play two blue hit and run. I think this one is correct. Um, a lot of times you just want to present go again as much as possible, um, and people don't ever see you going just hit and run off rip 
and they're like, oh, he wasted his blue. Like I, I did, I'd do this um, against the Kano matchup. I'll play hit and run first and have the other blue in my hand and go hit and run attack. And so now they're like, oh, well, I'm going to need to over defend this. A lot of Kano players don't defend properly against Dorinthia. And I think that's the reason why the matchup is very in, good in my favor because they need to kind of ping damage instead of um, instead of not defending and just trying to kill me. Uh, because they are at 15 and I can kill you in two turns. So uh, two determination, that's self-explanatory. Plus one and dominate for the turns, really good. Two sharpened steel blade, or sharpened steel, excuse me. Um, two spoils of war, two steel blade supremacies, and then uh, a two-two split of red and blue warriors valors. Um, I think those are self-explanatory. Just being able to give go again and hit break points is really good. So now for the attack reactions. Actually, we'll go over to the right first. Uh, Sigil Solace. Um, the card's very good. Um, the only thing, this is the one card that I've been thinking about cutting half and half. Uh, since we're seeing a lot more old him kind of build up in like the Blitz meta, you would say. Um, I feel like taking out Sigil Assault and adding in Twinning Blade might be correct. Um, and we've all, we've all been talking about it. And I don't know if it's correct, but it's something I want to test with and kind of go more into detail with. Um, and then for attack reactions, of course, that's the bread and butter of this deck, right? It is, um, it is what makes this deck be able to function the way it does being able to mind, mind screw your opponent. And, um, it's, it's, pre it's pretty fun to do. So you have two glint, the click silvers, um, you know that does uh, double iron song response red and blue um red and blue alpha blood to each play one red overpower and one route um i see these cards as finishers um i see a lot of people playing two out for blood or excuse me two overpower red and two uh two route and um as as i think that's okay to do um i feel like these cards are strictly meant for you to to go over one time and you usually just want to keep the one counter and if like obviously the added benefits of getting more than one counter is insanely good but all you want to do is just be able to present two attacks that hit in one turn and then you're you're automatically hitting your break points and there it makes it makes defending so much harder um and a lot of times you just want to like cheese people with router cheese people with like singing steel blade into into the overpower that's why they're one of you usually like if you see them early you're pitching them to the bottom of your deck um and then you're just going to singing steel blade them back out and then that's it that's game after that so that that you want these cards in your deck 90 percent of the time and then two struggle foresight that's also a guarantee um two of this card's absurd i love this card so much being able to being able to like manipulate something in your hand um because you say you have like energy floating and then you're like you're on your steel blade supremacy turn and then you can stroke and and draw the top card of your deck and it might be better in this situation than the card you have in your hand so then you obviously just switch them and attack and then the next card like just you can arsenal that and save it for the next turn so stroke of foresight the utility on this card's insane and i love it um for the equipment i think it's just pretty basic um skull cap brave forge bracers courage of blade hold and refraction bolters gambler's gloves for like the reinar the ko if you happen to see it um and then we're playing uh, norm gloves hood and robe in the kano matchup um i'm actually keeping in bolters and then playing the other three null rune i think bolters is the best one to play in the kano matchup just for the specific fact that if they're not blocking and you're gonna hit refraction bolters gives you go again lets you just go back at them and so um it puts them on such a tighter clock and so that's one of the reasons why i love uh this particular setup against um against kano specifically um, but yeah, I think over, I, I, I'm pretty sure I'm not playing the skirmish on Sunday, but I think over the three skirmishes, um, a finals and then two top fours is, is pretty damn cool. So, um, I just thank you so much for, I guess, watching the video and, um, I'll have a link to this list in the description below as well. So if you guys wanted to plug it in, play it on TTS or sleeve it up yourself, let me know how you guys uh, like the deck. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Myself or one of the people on the team will be more than happy to answer any of your questions in regards to this or anything flesh and blood related. We have some cool uh, content planned for you guys. Um, 
that we're working on for this month and um the new year is going to bring um bring we're going to bring a lot to the table so um yeah like i said i appreciate you guys uh click that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already like the video and uh and comment it what you think um it helps the channel grow a lot and we as a team appreciate it so much uh until next time guys call the car guys we'll see you later